what's going on youtube is your boy rome back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe so today we are going to be discussing a woman and why she started her only fans and you will not believe the reason why <laughs> without further ado let's go ahead and jump into what it what happened was that job the whole company actually dissolved. I got a call from the CEO and he was like, yep, we're shutting down the whole company. Thanks for all that you did. And I'm like, okay, well, I have a second income. It's now plummeted. It's at the bottom. And now I just lost this job. I'm like, I have to go full force at now. This is like God, tell you know, I don't know if you believe in God, but this is God telling me like, this is your time. You have to do it. So. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? Y'all heard that right. So because this woman lost her job due to the company shutting down and her second income wasn't what it what she wanted it to be, she took it as a sign from God. <laughs> she took it as a sign from God to start doing OnlyFans. Not, hey, let me find another job that that's in the same field that i'm in nope i'm just gonna start only fans ma'am you never wanted to do that job anymore in the first place that's what it was that's why you were so quick to jump to the only fans let's keep it moving these women are just lazy for real i wish they would just say that i had a sit down conversation with my social media manager at this point and i'm like it's got i'm all in to show you to the world i'm all in i'm all in what do i need to do <laughs> I can't, I can't go back to corporate America. Yeah, after doing OnlyFans, yeah, you definitely can't go back. Every time I just, I felt like I was getting kicked down. Every, I was down, I was trying to get back out, I'd get kicked down in another way. I couldn't do it anymore. Um, and like I said, I've always felt like I was different. I wasn't meant for that nine to five life of like going into the office, like, how was your weekend? Like, no. So you're all in now? I'm all in, 100% at this point. Are, are you uncomfortable with some of the content you're putting out there? No, I'm not. I actually make it a point to say like, a lot of people request some things and you know, my page, I like to make it a safe space for everyone to express what they're interested in and put out any requests, but I don't do everything that's asked of me. And there's certain things for no amount of money that I will do. How does it make you feel to be interacting with guys like this? Because you, you, you reply to your own comments, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I've actually, been able to i don't want to say like relationship and like romantic relationship type of way but i have built certain i guess relationship dynamics with certain fans that i just interact with more than others or the ones that have been around since the beginning i think that's the beauty of someone like me versus someone with thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers is like i really do have more of the time to like interact and get to know them I wouldn't say that's the case for everybody. A lot of people just subscribe and buy their videos and never want to talk to me, which is totally cool. Like, but I, I do enjoy um, 
interacting are, are, are with you, my fans. Are you basically a, a an actress? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's basically what it is. Mm-hmm. But but you're in control. I am. I think that's the beauty of and the platform is like you can really make the content that you want and that you're comfortable with and you don't have you're not forced um to make anything that you're not like in maybe mainstream or okay and we gotta quit that false narrative right there because i just did a live show i want to say about a week or so about a woman who was over here claiming uh making false claims when you literally see the video of her getting interviewed before and after getting the check um them confirming everything that she was gonna do she knew what she was supposed to do before she even came on set so no those are i think coach greg adams came up with this this saying there's no such thing as victims just volunteers especially in the line of work that you do the only difference is is like you said you're in control because it's your platform therefore you can do whatever the hell you want but don't get it twisted the people that actually do with the adult films they those women have control as well that industry does not exist unless the women are giving consent stop the bullshit let's keep it moving kind of pressured to do things that you're not comfortable with and so you're on camera by yourself or with partners or both Mm -hmm. both Mm -hmm. women have this power that they're basically unable to monetize unless they marry a a rich guy Mm -hmm. and so now this is giving is giving particularly attractive women an opportunity to make money without any guy's involvement yeah not even just like attractive women either like all women all, all kinds of women yeah thank you for correcting me but that that that's a big threat to a lot of people it is and i think the men that would not be able to sustain a lifestyle for a woman like me probably are the only ones that have an issue with it <laughs> um, i was waiting on that to come that was that was pretty she pretty much just took a shot at about mm, 80 to 90 percent of men funny thing about it is is though those men fall under the same different graphic of men that are probably paying for your only fans this is why i hold men accountable for this shit as well because y'all are so goddamn weak and so goddamn dumb that y'all don't even realize that the this is how most if not all of these women that do this for a living look at y'all and y'all are over here funding a lifestyle in order for them to be lazy when really a lot of those women are, are looking for a man to do the same thing for them. Instead, they show the world they show the world their value, monetize it so that way they can get that lifestyle that they want without how can I put this? Well, I'm gonna just say it like it is, submitting to a man that can give them that lifestyle because any man that can afford to give them that lifestyle oh they're gonna have to submit to him to see women like this they want to they want to run and control everything that's the reason why they carry this kind of attitude that's why they're so hard to deal with when it comes to relationships on top of the fact that they got uh, only fans hindering them from anybody taking them serious let's keep it moving um the women that tear girls down i think are deep down maybe just upset that they're not comfortable doing it or putting themselves out there in that way no the reason why they don't like it is because they actually have morals and they understand the effect that it has on the future children because you're starting to see more children being affected by this i just heard a story of another kid who wanted to unalive himself because he got teased from a whole bunch of kids that his mom does only fans that's going to be happening a lot going forward so if y'all are going to be doing this i suggest y'all don't have any kids let's keep it moving i think it's natural for women to be i've always felt that way so i don't have an issue with it 
clearly. <laughs> well, I think the, I think a lot of the world, a lot of the, a lot of our country is very uptight about, it. Mm -hmm. and they're going to view this as something. And I disagree with that. If anything, it's the complete opposite. Um, otherwise, videos like this wouldn't be on the internet. Because inter in interviews like this are very, very common. This has become a very common thing. It's not about being uptight, man. It's like, see, this is what kills me. Y'all want to sit over here and I'm just so sick and tired of being in a country where y'all want to hold men to a standard that's so ridiculously high, but then want to turn around on the women's side and say, be free, be free, nilly, willy nilly and do whatever the hell you want. And you don't have to have any consequences for it. But men have to face consequences for everything. Like this, it, this just blows my mind, bro. It blows my mind. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, you know, you're morally bankrupt and you're taking the world down. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm not certain that's the case. Do you feel like that's a, like a, an American thing versus? Well, I think I think there's other countries too that feel the same way. But I'm, you know, we're here in the United States and, and certainly there's a big portion of the country that would frown on what you're doing. Yeah, but, and then also looking at the number of people that do it, like not that many people do if you really look at the big population. So I feel like people look at it as this like you're ruining society type of thing. But it's like if you don't want to be in that world, like you don't have to. Before I started my friends, like I didn't know who any of the creators were. I'd well, I, I, I don't look at it that I think the, the smarter way to look at it is there are so many websites that are very popular in the world mm -hmm. on the Internet. And the, the, those are popular whether you like it or not. And what this has done is given the actors in those videos the opportunity to make and control the money that's true so i see it as, as a good thing maybe not 100 percent good but you know maybe it's you know i'm not safer I'm, than I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, but, but i am a fan of being able to control your money mm -hmm. yeah for the people that are already in the industry it makes perfect sense for them to do it that are in the industry she was not in the industry she was in she was she was a white collar worker who lost her job due to the company being shut down and she was too lazy to just find something else in that field and just decided to start only fans so you have a valid point sir but your point doesn't apply to her because she doesn't fall under that pretense let's keep it moving mm, i would so, agree with that so it's it's a complicated topic but but I, I, I see that you're safe, you're well taken care of, you're making money, you're happy. That that's those are all great things. Whereas doing a working in a career you you weren't happy with. I'm not sure if that's the, the best way to go through the rest of your life. Yeah, and I think a lot of people do it just because that's what's expected of us. And like I thought that was normal when I had to make myself into corporate Naomi. You know, I I've thought, okay, this is what you have to do when you're an adult. This is adulting. And like now I've really realized. I don't have to live by anyone else's terms other than my own. I think it's women like you that are leading the way for the future mm -hmm. and many girls will follow whether we like that or not mm -hmm. is beside the point because it's, it's going to happen anyway. This is, this is our society that we've built. I think it's empowering. Absolutely. From my perspective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Naomi, thank you so much for telling us about your, your experience and uh, I wish you lots of luck. Uh, the dude that's in, that was interviewing her, bro, he ain't helping at all. He said, whether we like it or not, this is the future and many women to follow. Yeah, but it really ain't a lot of us. And I'm like, you see, like, there's just so much contradiction going on in this interview. And honestly, man, I think part of me thinks he was just pandering because he didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to push her buttons, bro. Because I can, I can definitely tell that she is the type that'll get defended if you disagree with her. So I think he was just keeping it light because he wanted to keep the peace. But in all reality, woman, you know damn well it's going to be a lot harder for you to lock down anybody. Now, if you just want to be a 304 the rest of your life and have fun and all that, okay, cool. But at some point, you're going to hit that age where you're going to want to be with somebody that takes you seriously. And once they know you've done this, 
especially if they know this story any man worth his salt they definitely ain't gonna deal with you and judging by the way she looks and the way she talking she's only gonna deal with men of a certain caliber that can afford to give her the lifestyle that she wants most of those men are not gonna take her seriously at this point she just looks like side chick material to me and i'm pretty i'm pretty much see all women who do only fans that way but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way i know when i'm uploading hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape neo travel volume one and if you want to purchase any of the merch spreadshot.com link is in the description until the next video y'all deuces